major collaborative effort is coming to St. Louis involving multiple organizations. Did you know St. Louis is one of the leaders in neurological science or space? Eric Goldie joins us to share more about Neuro360. Eric, good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. We are glad to have you here. What is Neuro360 and what are you trying to do? Yeah. So most people don't know, but St. Louis is one of the national leaders and even global leaders in neuroscience research. Mm -hmm. So neuroscience is the study of how the brain works and how the peripheral nervous system works, how you control your muscles, for example, movement and balance. And um, so there is tremendous research going on here in the region. For example, research on Alzheimer's disease, on stroke, on chronic pain, um, and even things like ways to develop new computers that operate like the human brain would operate. Wow. And so this initiative is actually designed to try to transform the way that we take basic research that goes on, for example, in our universities or in startup companies, and do a much better job of translating it into products, services, even public policies that impact the health and welfare of citizens, not only here in St. Louis, but really around the country, ultimately, and around the globe. How could you see this impacting our local economy in St. Louis? Yeah, so there's a strong economic development focus here. So over the next decade or so, in terms of translating this research into products, we, we want to start new companies. We want to recruit companies that want to be here in St. Louis because of the environment that we're building here. We want to be able to license these discoveries to companies anywhere that want to turn them into products. So we want to create jobs over the long term, high quality, high paying jobs. And we want to make sure that parts of the community that really traditionally haven't benefited from our high tech economy are able to participate actively in obtaining those jobs and also benefiting from the kinds of products and services that we develop. As we wrap up, you mentioned you retired, but this is just so fascinating to you and you feel like you're making, having a purpose and making a difference. Seeing this move forward, how does that make you feel professionally? Yeah, it's really sort of the culmination of my career. I just love working with people with different kinds of expertise that come together for a common goal. And w we look to each other to provide the kind of expertise that everyone has. So we can do something unique and different that we haven't done before. Love to hear that. Mr. Golby, thank you for being here this morning. We appreciate it. We're going to have this full interview posted on our website, foxunow.com.